them I listen to sitting and I accept the payment I left the payment and resurrected another high beat So I can send it back under with just some other style I'm a motherfucking juggernaut The fucking topic discussion well, hello, this is Smokey X, KVX, bringing you another video. Uh, this is just a preview and um, pretty much to see what you guys think of the idea. Uh, so I've, I've never really seen this idea before and I wanted to do it because it, I guess it could be fun. But um, yeah, pretty much what I've been doing inside this tool is uh, I pretty much finished Black Ops 1. Um, and then I had an idea of uh, making like a CFG menu for the campaign. Um, what do you call it campaign modes as well, uh, which I'm pretty much doing COD 4 at the minute. Um, but yeah, I tested this out. Uh, pretty much this tool, uh, when you hit like a button, it will send the menu from the tool to your Xbox. And then once you restart the game, you'll have the menu if you press D pad right or the back button or something. Um, but yeah, this I got this working on COD 4 multiplayer and I got this working on World of War multiplayer as well. And uh, I've just tried COD 4 campaign and it worked pretty, you know, worked straight away. Um, and I'm thinking about doing this for Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops as well because I, I think it's possible because it's only the multiplayer side that. Uh, patched most of the code and stuff when they updated to TU8 on campaign and spec ops it's still TU6 or TU0 or whatever it was um, but yeah pretty much I never had luck like, um, I never saw what the menus were like back then because my RGH I never got my RGH to work till like three weeks after they patched it so I thought this was a pretty good idea to do um, yeah it can be pointless but like I guess it's fun and stuff if like you're banned and like I don't know you want to play legit on campaign and complete it and stuff well not legit but play campaign and complete it and stuff I thought this would be quite a cool idea and with spec ops it's two people so you know it could be possible to infect the other person with that menu when you press the button it sends it to your console and the other person's console which I thought, you know, could be pretty sick if it does work anyway. But um yeah, this is just a preview of the COD 4 menu on campaign that I've just made. And uh yeah, it'd be nice to see to hear people's ideas on like this cuz I don't know, it's just something different really. I mean, I saw someone do um a World of War menu inside at all. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll try this out. And that's what I've pretty much been doing. But yeah, let's load COD 4 up. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, once you're in the game, you just press the button and it will send the menu from the tool to your Xbox. And then all you have to do is restart the game for like all the binds and stuff to activate. Um, once you've restarted the game, you'll get a menu on the screen when you press D-pad right. And then pretty much you can just mess about with the game. You can give yourself gob mode, you can, you know, um, change the visions, you can fly about, you can give all the guns. Um, you can have it so it's one hit kill. So if you just tap someone, they'll die. Um, you can delete the, um, you can delete the people as well, so you can just run straight through the mission to complete it and stuff like that um, but yeah uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video